Hey everybody, welcome back to Rust. Oh, it's this episode was the for before this episode we went for a break. So uh obviously Period Flax, Zips, how you doing? What's up? I'm doing alright. I just woke you up. You two logged off. Yeah, I went to sleep in a pipe. And I'll tell you what happened. Lewis, where's all our stuff? You both woke up dead, probably, with all of our stuff gone. Yeah. Well, this is inevitable, right? This is what we expected, kind of. Yeah. And um I'm heading I knew sort it. of slowly back now, mining stuff on the way. But so I, I, you both logged off, right? You you logged off in the pipe, P flags for some reason. Yeah. She didn't go back to the base. Oh. And Sips, did you log off on the roof? I was up on the roof, yeah, um, in, the snipe, in the crow's nest. And were you dead? I have no idea. I'm just just up? loading into the game right now. I'm about to find out if oh, I'm right. dead or not. Well, I think you probably will be because the wooden door is off its oh. hinges. Wait, wait, um, wait. Why was the back just left as shitty wood? This, this <laughs> That's is, how they got in, I think. This is how they got in. <laughs> no, no, no. They could just crawl in through under the thing. Remember, they don't even have to. They don't even have to smash through. Remember, yeah, they could crawl in or get in. Wait, you could just crawl into the house? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We figured that out. And we didn't fix it. Now, oh, listen. Good. Wait, they couldn't crawl into the keep though. The keep was like all stone. Except for the foundation. Yeah, they couldn't crawl into May the I stone make, key. I'm going to assume somebody left the door. No, 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 open. no, 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 no. Look, the wooden door is off its hinges now, so someone anyway has has creeped in oh, and raped gone, us. Yeah. But when I, um, when you two logged off, okay, at the end of yesterday, yeah. man, I'm never going to forget this because it was one of these moments that will stick with my gaming. You left all memory. the metal doors open, didn't you? No, no. This this is the thing about Rust, okay, and games like this that there's these moments in the game where they just. They're so impactful. They're so exciting. They're so strange because you invest all this time and effort and energy into like mining stuff, digging stuff, rages. You know, it's real ball lake. Anyway, I fucking got home with a whole load of shit that I collected, right? And I was really sort of looking forward to, to just making a house at home. And I saw this guy there, like fully clothed, yeah. standing like about I don't know about a couple of minutes walk away from our our place. So I was, so I, I I like yelled. I was like, stop, stop, stop. Because I wanted to go up and like hatch him to death, right? Um, but he turned around and started running towards our base, and I was like, "What are you doing? Where are you running to?" And he was like, "I'm running to my base." And I was like, "No, no, 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 no! This is this is our base." <laughs> <laughs> right? Anyway, he ru runs up there and runs through the front metal code door, which is open. Oh my okay, god! By the way, and I ran in there, and there were three guys in the courtyard with the wooden door open as well, right? Okay, so literally. Both doors and the door to the furnace wide open. Okay. Anyway, I was like, oh my God. So I ran at them with a hatchet. I killed like, I think I killed one guy and then I got like three spears in me and died. Yeah. And then they just looted systematically the entire base. Okay. They took anything of any value. They took the wood, the stone, the metal ore. They took the stuff out of the furnaces. They took anything of any value. All they left was like charcoal and crap. And just junk that we that was 15 rubbish. Fifteen bear okay. meat, apparently, as well. Yeah, the bear meat. Okay, but fifteen bear meat. Got left. How the hell did they just open the metal doors? I have absolutely no fucking because idea. Because were they left it was open? Bullshit. Both of them were just hanging open. Yeah, yeah. And do you know what was the worst thing about it? It's it happened. There's only like ten people on this server. Okay, so it must be. I'm just I'm just calling hacking, right? But <laughs> it felt like it felt like it was bullshit because it was it was as soon as you guys logged off, they appeared. Right, and then they left the sleeping bags, which is a good thing at least. I mean, but they put some sleeping bags outside our place. Did they? So I don't know whether that's to like scout us out later, or like maybe like if, well, if we'll we just, came back, we'll just wreck them. rebuilt, they could just hack in again. Yeah. So I see how they but actually got. I noticed there were some sleeping bags like in bushes and stuff outside our base, like hidden sleeping oh, bags. Oh yeah, there's a couple so, here. Yeah. Okay. So first things first, like I think one thing I've learned from playing Rust is first of all, I hope I hope you guys who've been watching this out there haven't taken away anything because honestly how to build a base not like us okay yeah, our well, base. No. sips you had the right idea right you it's all about metagaming this right well, i wanted to build something beautiful and you cool know what? and funny it's not even so much metagaming lewis it's 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 about having something that's not too big because the the moment the base gets too big it's impossible to fully defend it that's why we just had a simple box that went up and then you had one door, but then when we started building shit all around it and stuff, that's when it was like, hang on, we have like all these new holes and stuff. Like, I think, I think, you know yeah. what I mean? Sometimes I think you, you have to have, I think less is more in this game. If you have a big fuck off base that people can see from miles away, they're just going to make their way towards it, aren't they? Like, it's like, you've just, you've just become a beacon on the server for like everybody to come and 
and raid you. But if you just have a little shack yeah. hidden in the forest that nobody really ever finds, you know what I mean? It's less likely that you'll get raided. That's true. Yeah, we were kind of obvious. But I don't, I don't know whether I, I... I don't know, maybe some sort of well-organized, like, little type base. The, pro the problem was, was that... I didn't want to spend like a two hours breaking our own fucking wooden door to put a metal one on. Do you know what I mean? Well, that, they, they've done it for us now. To me, that sucks. <laughs> All the doors are gone. <laughs> the I problem mean, is now solved itself. Well, we, we're not gonna we're not gonna stick with that. Base, I don't think are we, we can now. I mean, we gotta start again. The trees and stuff have grown around the base, so there's at least resources here to to get. But yeah. Why can't we just whack a metal door on? Because it's a disaster do. of a base. It's a, it's no good. Yeah. And now they know mess, it's raidable, yeah. they'll be back, Lewis. Yeah, that's it. They're gonna wait for us to like try to rebuild. Then they're gonna spawn in in their sleeping bags with all of their guns and their bombs and their bombs and their guns. And they're gonna get in our heads. In our heads. They're gonna get in our like, heads. They are. And what's the point in gathering stuff if we don't feel it's secure? Yeah. It's like well, a listen, bank. We can... It's like a bank. If your bank is robbed, the stone structure, the stone core is secure. I don't think so. Okay, we just need a metal door on it, and that'll be fine. You know what else? I'm not um, comfortable. You know what else is still intact, though? The um, the tool cabinet. They didn't go to the back and bust that door down. It's still locked. Right. I mean, we can't get into it either, but we've been authorized to the thing, so that's at least something. Okay. I'm I'm starting again. I'm yeah. building a base. Okay. Somewhere else. Well, listen. Okay, for a start. Rust is this thing that resets every week, okay? And now we looked at our schedules the rest of this week. We've got the next two hours to play Rust, and that's it. Well, this server might not reset, though. It's not They're not on a rolling reset every server. Like, this server's a community server, so it'll reset whenever the admins oh, really? decide to reset it. So they might be on a totally different schedule. Now, the question is, do we want to tweet out to your followers where we are? God, no. Say, Did you like, see what happened when me and Harry played together? There was like 50 people just trying to kill us all the time. Like we couldn't get away. We had to make a murder room and everything. It was crazy. <laughs> it's better to come on here and be, oh crap, you know what? Oh good, I'm not, my friends is not online actually. I went off. Oh shit, I am. I've completely gone offline on friends so that I can't be followed around and stuff. I was offline too. But I, I think this, this is a good thing because the thing is, people who play Rust enough, like, you know, somebody who's on this server might watch this video and then all it takes is one person to notice and like, then start saying to their friends. There's only like three people on this server since I know, the but it's crazy. Just trust me. Before you know it, once the videos start going out, people will definitely find the server and then they'll be on here creating like a defense force and then backstabbing us and then getting the locals all riled up and they'll hate us and everything. I've been there, guys. Like, that is my life. I live that okay. life right now. It's true. So, I, I mean, like, I, I've really... Actually, do you know what? I am really psyched for building a new base. Honestly, I could fucking build a new base right now. You know, Pretty we just hard. need a, a small little base. We need... I, there's a couple of things that I think we need to do. We need to have the base in, like, a secluded area where there's, like, not too many other buildings around it. Also, we need to... In the area that we build the base, we need to not cut down all the trees and stuff around it. Because it'll help, like, I, shelter I just it, died. sort of thing. Oh, my God. Because I think part of the problem with our old base was that we clear-cut the whole hill, and then it was, like, instantly visible to anybody around the dome and stuff. Also, it was on a hill. Yeah, I mean, that's true, that's too. That's kind of a giveaway. Yeah. I think somewhere flat would be better. It's discreet. Yeah, discreet, flat, discreet, flat, and uh, small, too. Like, let's just keep it really tight, you know, get, like... Just the things in there that we need. A couple of boxes Screen, and stuff. Flat and, and tall. tight as well. So sounds like tight. Sounds like your mum. My ideal woman. Like, yeah. a, like an escort, a really high class escort. That's right, a really high class <laughs> one, that, a non sexual escort. Just one that accompanies you to like a, a gala. Flat rate. And sort of <laughs> hangs off your arm, looking all nice and like supermodel y. And then when the night is over, you say thank you, and she says thank you, and she goes home and has a chicken noodle soup in her silk pajamas. This was a one-time thing. And you go home and masturbate. It was a pleasure. Yeah. 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 Please. I don't want to see any of this stupid long grass, because I literally just spawned in on the beach, okay? Yeah. I spent, like, 16 minutes just cutting trees, digging ore. I had, like, loads of stone, loads of metal ore, loads of wood. And a fucking wolf comes out of, like, a bush. Like, yeah. Just hidden, and I die. Yeah. And do you know what? You know what? I'm I'm absolutely that... sick of that aspect of Rust. Like how how wildlife can just kill you. Like like bullshit. One no, shot it has you. to though. And like you gotta you gotta. It's a survival game, right? You gotta stay on your toes. You know. Yeah. Stay on your friggin' toes. Stay on your toes, bitch. Come on. 
The problem is the wolves look like the fucking pigs and this long grass. Just kill is, everything. Just hides everything. I mean, building our base with this long grass around it has just been a nightmare because you walk out the front fucking door and a bear savages you or you're coming home and you yeah. just get savaged instantly. Well, it, like, what the fuck is this? This is a pig here, right? I assume. It's not, it's not a huge problem if you don't have a lot of stuff on you when you leave the base and... Ideally, you have like a bow and arrow at least, something that you can defend yourself with. And you're not just dying all the time so that you can just spawn back in your sleeping bag, which is inside the base. Like, that's the thing. In the, in this game, you can't start doing things like before you're ready, I guess. So like, even if you see an animal and you think, oh yeah, I'm going to kill it and whatever. Like, if all you've got is a stone and a torch, like, there's probably not much point trying to do that. You better off just. I guess what I'm trying to say is that at what point can you like safely fucking take on these this shit easily? You know? Yeah. For one thing, like for instance, get a bandage, get some armor, bow and arrow. The, the, the first the first ten minutes. I love this. I love this tutorial portion of the episode where everybody watching is going to be like, these fucking guys don't know shit. Like, oh man. But those things are easy to get. Like they're not uh, difficult to acquire. No, they're not. Like, I, I've got a bandage right now. A bandage is four cloth. Yeah. You know what? I just want the fucking recipe for the bucket hat. That's my favorite hat. Oh, shit. You know what? I just realized I lost my candle hat. You just reminded me. Yeah, I lost my wolf headdress and my shotgun. Oh, damn. Fucking shame. So you, you woke up... You, you're dead as well. Somebody found you in the yeah, pipe. Yeah, they found me in the pipe. I, I guess I, somebody would, though, in the pipe. That's like a... Well, yeah, but I figured low pop server, quiet bit... It wasn't like an area you'd go to explore. Yeah. I mean, if they were running around and they saw me sticking out, that could have been it. Like, I could have just been. I think it's only low out. pop because we play it in the fucking morning. Do you know what I mean? I think the server fills <laughs> out in the yeah. evening. Maybe. I think the thing is, when you're offline for like, you don't realize it, but if you're offline for like 24 hours, that's a lot of time for people to just happen across your stuff. That's true. Yeah, that's true. Do shit, whatever. Like, I don't think we were hacked. I just think our base was awful. Our admin's trolling everyone on this fucking server, this guy says. I don't know. I, I think, I think, I think, I think they might be. Really? What's his problem? Man. If we're going to start naked and start again, we should just pick a new server. Yeah, Because do you know what? Fuck this I think server. I've, I think we should do. What Fuck the hell, the guys? I, mean, I, I, I genuinely can't. I, I'm almost, I can't fucking figure it out in my I'm head. I'm almost tier how, two. First of all, first of all, yesterday. I'm almost tier two. I got a hatchet now. <laughs> but I just, you'll die instantly and lose it anyway. Well, no, I mean, I probably won't, though. But first of all, honestly, those the admins were on the server yesterday fucking cheating and showing off and hacking through walls and shit. And honestly, Sips, I saw it myself. They were in our base. Yeah. Like, they were waiting for you to log out. They saw you log out on the console on the server. They fucking walked over, just opened the code locks. They were honestly yeah, two code bullshit. lock doors. You and Perian did not leave those open. No. Nope. That was just not cool. But that leaves you. Did you leave them open? Because, like, you do I didn't have... I think I fucking just arrived at the you base. You do have, like, a habit of, you know, leaving stuff open and stuff. Just saying, like it may not have been hacked. I do have a habit, but I, it wasn't me. I, I honestly, I the, the fact that all the code lock doors were open, that is that is suspicious. I am deeply suspicious of that. I got killed by a bear on the last floor I mean, of my maybe house. Maybe they just maybe they just guessed the code though. Like, wasn't that hard? Yeah, right. I mean, if we move, if we move, like server. All right, I'm up for moving server. If you guys, if you guys I find mean, the one. The problem with that is like we're gonna lose all of our blueprints, right? Yeah, that's all right. We didn't have the ones that matter. But, all right, fine. I think the thing oh, is... Well, when are we, how, how are we going to schedule this? The problem is Rust needs so much time, doesn't it, you know? No, nah, it doesn't really. I think mm. you just need to get used to the fact that you're just... Every time you're going to play this game, you'll be restarting. Like, mm, yeah, pretty much. Unless you, uh, unless you have people that can, like, defend your base. And I think if we had more people, we'd be able to have a chance at defending the base. Because that people would be able to stay on longer and stuff. But... If that's not the case, then we just need to build somewhere super secluded where nobody can find us and bloody bloody. Blah. I mean, when we had the orcs nest, that was 30 or 40 people. And there were people online all the time. And there still are people online all the time. Defending it. Uh, defending it, yeah. It's and huge, I mean, there's, too. There's always, it is huge. I mean, think how attractive that is a proposition to raiders. But we did, we haven't been hacked. Other, I mean, there were people hacking so that they had like aimbot and stuff like that. Oh, shit. But there weren't people hacking to get through locked doors instantly. Because they didn't blow the door, it was just unlocked. And it, I mean, unless they stayed there all night just guessing 
But it's not like it was so super obvious that it was easy to get. It, 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 that's bullshit. The fact that they were able to open all the locked doors is bullshit. Yeah, but maybe the doors were it just left open, though. Like that, they weren't. That, that's a possibility as well. They definitely weren't. I mean, you and, you and PFLEX were so fucking, like, anal about those doors. There is no way they were left open. <laughs> I love this. I love, I love this, like, post-analysis of everything. It's so good. <laughs> Fuck, it's just another thing that just sort of fortifies my love for this game. I just think this game is perfect. <laughs> everything about it. So many people complain about stuff, but it's like, no, this is it. This is, like, the best part of it. You know, losing everything and restarting is not always a bad thing, I don't think. Yeah. Let's find a server that's just reset, like, and then go on there. All right. Fucking start again. Let's do that. I mean, the thing Sounds is, there's say. other people on this server, and if there was, like, a lot of, like, hacking and griefing going on, you know, they would be sort of talking about it a lot or just not here they were yesterday they were talking they about were it a all lot the time. yesterday like in the chat it was all like holy but shit but maybe but maybe that's maybe that's the same on every server then maybe every server talks about hacking griefing all well the you time. normally have a couple but i i would expect to see hackers on a 300 maybe pop we'll server. fucking join another server and it'll like, be but this worse. is such a low pop server and there's still hackers that's what makes me think it's just the admins dicking about maybe but i think the like, honestly i think the admins were just saying like you know, yeah, we can spawn stuff in, but they spawned in like one wood just to sort of like as a joke sort of thing. Like, I don't think it was, I don't think that they were going out of their way to cheat. But if you guys want to go on a new server, I'm, I'm totally up for that too. I don't mind. If we're starting let's do again, it. All right. we could see how, see what we could do in two hours. Yeah. A fresh start. All right. Let's see. Yeah. All right. And we'll build like, we'll build a base with triangles and triangle stuff. base. And, triangle base. Yeah. Triangle and base. Does anything a triangle base can. And I think we need some sort of, we need some, basically, we need two doorways. Okay. And so when we come to build that metal door, it can just slide straight in. Okay, does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So we'll have the well, wooden door. We can door just not initially. have the wooden door. Just, yeah, no wooden door. We'll just we'll let's just just, work just leave it on open it. until we get metal and then do that. Do you want to do that thing where we build the okay. door like up high so that you have to like build some crappy stairs up to it and then when we're when we log off, just remove the stairs? Maybe. Yeah. Because cause that's like a thing, right? Yeah, yeah, that's I a mean, good idea. They can ladder up, but I think it just makes it a little bit more difficult for them. Oh, I see. You just destroy the stairs when you go to bed. Yeah. So you just leave the st the stairs as like thatch, and then you, with your hatchet, you just destroy them. Uh. And the next time you log in again, you just build some um, more stairs to get back in. Or that out. sounds great. I you love try it. that. So we find a nice area of flat land. Yeah, we want somewhere like we, we want it. somewhere out of the way and discreet where there is nobody, and then hopefully nobody will just happen upon like what we're doing. Oh shit! What? Did you die? No, there's a guy around here. Oh, shit. Go in voice and, and start speaking in Spanish. Hello? No. Hola, amigo. No. Que pasa? No habla inglés. Compass. 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 <laughs> oh, he's right here with a hatchet. Uh oh. Uh, I come in peace. Waddle, waddle boo. I'm just, I'm just chilling. Please, please don't <laughs> hatchet me in the face. Please don't torch me in the face. No is he, is please he don't map. Please don't hammer me in the face. <laughs> <laughs> what else could you not hammer me in the face? All right, take it easy. Whoa! Did is he, he leave fucking in? leave you? Yeah, oh. she was. Lo she was lovely. Holy I just shit. asked nicely. Holy shit! Well, that's maybe the secret that we didn't realize. Man, somewhere. maybe that's the secret. Yeah, I joined a server yesterday, and some guy came up behind me, and he was like. Bang, bang, you're dead. And I turned around. I, I didn't, like, talk to him on, on the voice or anything. I was naked, and all I had was a hatchet. <laughs> so, right. so, I threw, so I just threw my hatchet at him, and it, like, got stuck in his chest. <laughs> He's just like, you didn't just fucking do that. <laughs> he just pulled out a bow and arrow and iced me. <laughs> it was fucking hilarious. <laughs> oh, my God. It's just, like, this hatchet just sticking out of his chest. It's, like, right in his heart. See, I, I think that what was funny about Rust was when they had the forced, you are a lady, you are a dude, you're black, you're white, you're, you know, uh, sort of Latino, you're Asian. Yeah. I thought it was funny that, that a lot of dudes were like, I don't want to be a girl. But there was <laughs> Waddleboo just then, who was a, a burly black dude. And I, I wonder if she was like, I don't mind, or if she was like, I wanted to be a girl. Like, I kind of wonder if people had a... So what, it was a girl's, yeah, yeah, it was a girl's, girl's voice, girl's voice. Was it, but she was a giant black man. Yeah, she man. was a big guy. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah. 
I mean, the fact that I was like, like oh, an... God, I'm dead. And she was like, I'm not going to kill you. I was like, oh, geez, thank goodness. When I play like an. You sure it wasn't just a child? <laughs> it was like not a child, it was a girl. I never get that, though. It was like, probably a 10 year old. When I play an MMO or whatever, I always take a, a, a female because, like, I don't, I don't know why. Maybe like secretly, I want to be one or something. But maybe I always figured that I'd rather just, I'd rather just stare like at a female. I just, I just don't really care. Than a, a, a males, because you do end up doing that so much. Yeah, like, I mean, if you play a game, if you're investing that much in it that you feel that you are that character, I would say take a step back, friend. Yeah, it's a video game. Yeah, listen, right? Think about. It's about ratios, right? So if you think about it, like how many women play these games? Like, like maybe how like, many women are secretly big, burly black guys? I feel you. How <laughs> how many women play this game? Probably like what, like five percent of the population is women, probably in Rust, something like that. Not many, right? You can't imagine a lot of girls play this game, can you? And if you are a girl playing this game, you're probably in the minority, right? But like, given, like, the MMO thing as well, like, girls make up more of a population of MMOs and stuff like this, but I think that how many men choose to play as girls, not too many, some, but how? But I think it's, it can't be any more than that proportion of girls choosing to play as men. So basically what you end up with is, like, a very small number. Like, 1% of players are girls playing men. Yeah. I think so. You don't encounter them very often. But I, I, I have done in the past. Shall we just go back on Sips' server? No, fuck that server. It's full of hacking admins. That's the only possible explanation right. for our perfect base being destroyed. All right, we'll find a new one and we'll start again. I just got killed by a wolf. <laughs> right. I got nothing. I got so, nothing, yeah. nothing keeping me here now. <laughs> <laughs> I just hacked a sleeping dude in his, in his sleep and then a wolf attacked me. Karma, bitch.